white meat. It is um, there's four characters. Um, two guys who live together, Jed and Dylan. Jed he thinks he's a bit of a ladies' man. That archetype of the alpha male. But actually, he's you know a bit of an excuse of a ladies' man. <laughs> you know, I would say. Dylan, who I play. Uh, Dylan. Dylan, who is the complete opposite. Socially quite awkward, one might say. There's absolutely no filter whatsoever. He will just say something, even if it ends up being quite crude. No, Jed is having a date. He's preparing a dinner for his uh, new lady, Louise. Uh, Dylan has been sent to uh, buy a chicken from the supermarket. But unfortunately, Dylan doesn't quite stick to the shopping list. And as is the case with lots of farces, uh, a series of events occurs, uh, which means Everything doesn't quite necessarily go to plan. Each character in this play has um, some really interesting conflicts going on. For Louise, is really about what she thinks she wants and what she actually does want, and they're two very different things. Often we see uh, a lot of plays where there's, you know, there might be a, a typical hero sort of character, um, whereas actually Dylan is is the underdog. And um, I think you kind of find yourself rooting for him. Sometimes I really can't understand what her motivations are. So it, it's, it is fascinating trying to find out why she does what she does. Yeah. Because uh, she changes her mind so much. Rachel, on the surface, is possibly the complete opposite. She comes in there bold, brazen, talking about sex, wearing left, right and centre. Oh. She's a bit, of a, a bit of a sassy chick. She's saying one thing, but I think she means the, the complete opposite. And having looked at her, through that lens, I see a lot of that in everyday people. We often say and do the opposite to what we think and feel. So um, that's something really interesting to play with. Good fun. Jed is the guy who thinks it's great to kind of like screw around. That's the badge of honour in society. And for him, everything is about how many women he can sleep with, like how much he can boast to his friends, how much of the big guy he can look, which is interesting to play, because on the one hand it's quite fun to be not, not a nice person, but at the same time as an actor you've got to find a human side to him and make him relatable as well, so there's that interesting aspect of it as well. I think it's quite relevant to, we're all quite young 20-somethings, who can kind of relate to these characters, that there's this, this clash of identity, this sort of conflict of trying to work out where you fit, what you want, what you really want, should I be this, should I be that, so I think it's, it, that's what sort of draw me to it.